This is a recording of the baritone part for the song Amazing Grace. So uh, first of all, let me give some introductory information. Uh, this is a two-part piece. And at the beginning, everybody is going to come in on the second line, which is technically part two or the alto part. And it's the melody. You guys know the melody. You're going to sing this down the octave and your baritone voice. And in this recording, I'll sing with you, although some of these notes I can't hit. Like, I definitely can't sing a low B flat. So when we get to those parts, I might just play your part on the piano and not actually sing it because it's going to sound like nothing. <laughs> um, then when you get to page two or in the music, I think is actually labeled as page five. Um, you're going to go um, from the second line up here to the top line part. And that's the melody. And you're going to continue singing uh, the melody on this top line. So you're going from here to here. Uh, there is also a key change right here. So we're going to get uh, higher in pitch right here. But in your voices, it probably feels a little bit better to sing a little bit higher through here. Anyway, uh, here you go to the soprano part and you continue with the melody. You already probably know that hymn. Um, we continue singing the melody on this page. And then when we get to verse 3, through many dangers, toils, and snares, you will get a harmony part. And again, you are singing this down the octave. Okay. Now, uh, something to look out for. I know all of you have a high E flat in your voice, um, which is the E flat above uh, middle C. But I want you to look ahead because you are going to go to a G, um, which is, again, this is down the octave, but it's a G on treble clef and then an A flat. So um, if you can't hit those notes, you um, can sing it. Uh, you can sing that part down the octave as well. But again, everything you're seeing right here, I'm going to sing in my voice down the octave. You won't actually sing it that high. Okay. So verse three is harmony parts. And I will go over that part several times at the end of this video because that's the part you'll want to practice the most since it's new and it's the part you're going to be least familiar with. So we're going to start back at the beginning. I'm singing your part and playing it. And again, when it gets too low in my voice, I will, um, you'll hear it on the piano because I can't, I don't have a low B flat. I'm not a dude. All right, here we go. saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, blind, but now I see. Up to the soprano part. T'was grace that taught my heart to grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed through many dangers because that's the hardest part. Um, first of all, some info about this ending right here. We're going to stretch this out with a retard. So it's going to be about four beats, and then you'll go down the last step and hold that out for another three beats. So this is all slower and held longer, and try to hold this last note off out until the music stops. That's how that's going to work. Okay, and I also drew in a breath mark right there because you're going to need to get that so that you can hold this long note out. So we're going to go back to uh, verse three, which is where you sing through many dangers, toils, and snares. And again, this is the part where you have harmony. So we want to go over that. It starts off sounding like melody, but then we get harmony. So looking at 
this top line here to this top line here is what we're going over right now. Ready? Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Let's go over that section at the top. That part's pretty tricky. I'm um, starting at have. Have already come. Let's go back and do that much, starting on through many uh, dangers. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe this far, and grace will lead me home. All right, so now let's work on this middle section, starting here where you say, tis grace that brought, and this is where you're going to get high. I mean, it's down the octave from what you see, but it's pretty high. You're going to need to absolutely float up into your more of your alto voice right here. Tis grace. Ready? Here we go. Tis grace that brought me safe this far. And grace will lead me home. All right. Now we're going to do the third verse all together one more time. Starting on through many dangerous toils and snares. Here we go. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe this far, and grace will lead me home. So some um, back information before I stop recording. You are using this video to learn your part, the baritone part. When you feel like you've got it, you're going to uh, get two devices ready to go. One of those devices needs to um, be able to record, and the other device is used for um, listening to the audio track for the baritone part with earbuds in, and hopefully those earbuds have a mic on it just because it'll, yeah, you'll be able to hear better. Um, so you're using an, a device to listen to the baritone part in your ear, in earbuds. And then the second device uh, is going to make a video recording of you singing this part and again, in your ear, you're hearing the baritone part, my voice, and the piano accompaniment in the background. And once you've made that video, you're going to share that video with me. And then I will pass it along to Randy. And he will take it and make it into a video that's like a virtual choir. And it will include all of our voices put together. If you have any questions, message me on Remind. Um, I'm always here to help you. But otherwise, have fun. See ya.